moon. The moon is a natural satellite of the earth. Remember that, the moon revolves around the earth, and also rotates on its axis. Have you ever observed that, the moon, changes its shape? There are day, when the moon appears to be perfectly round. There are days, when the moon cannot be seen at all, even if the sky is clear. Let's understand, about the different phases of moon. The day on which the whole disk of the moon is visible is known as, the full moon day. Thereafter every night, the size of the bright part of the moon appears to become thinner, and thinner. On the fifteenth day the moon is not visible. This day is known as, the new moon day. The next day, only a small portion of the moon appears in the sky. This is known as the crescent moon. Then again, the moon grows larger every day. On the 15th day, once again we get a full view of the moon. The various shapes of the bright part of the moon as seen during a month are called, phases of the moon. The time period between one full moon to the next full moon is slightly longer than 29 days. In many calendars this period is called, a month. Let us try to understand, why phases of the moon occur. We know that, the moon does not produce its own light. Whereas the sun and other stars do. We see the moon, because the sunlight falling on it gets reflected towards us. We, therefore, see only that part of the moon, from which the light of the sun is reflected towards us. Let's discuss, positions of the moon in its orbit, and its corresponding phases. Remember that, the moon revolves around the earth. The earth along with the moon, revolve around the sun. The moon, completes one rotation on its axis. As it completes one revolution around the earth. The size of the illuminated part of the moon visible, from the earth increases, each day after the new moon day. After the full moon day, the sunlit part of the moon visible from the earth decreases in size every day. Let's see, how moon changes its shape, and what are the names of its different shapes. Phase 1 New Moon When the moon is on the side of the earth, nearest to the sun, then the side of the moon which is lit by the sun is away from earth. The side, which is towards earth is dark. In this position, we can't see moon at all from the earth. This is called New Moon. Phase 2. Waxing Crescent Moon As the moon moves on its orbit around the earth, we can see a small sunlit portion of its surface, which is called Waxing Crescent Moon. This phase is called Waxing, or Increasing Phase of Moon. Phase 3. First Quarter Moon As the moon moves further the part of it visible from earth becomes bigger and bigger. 
This phase is called first quarter moon. Phase 4. Waxing Gibbous Moon. This is phase 4, which is called waxing gibbous moon. Phase 5, full moon. After 15 days from new moon day, the moon reaches to phase 5, which is on the side of earth farthest from the sun. In this position, the whole sunlit side of the moon is visible from earth. We can see the full round disk of bright light, hence this called full moon. Phase 6. Waning Gibbous Moon As the moon moves around the earth further, the sunlit portion of moon facing the earth becomes smaller and smaller. This is called waning phase or decreasing phase of the moon. Phase 7. Last Quarter Moon Phase 8. Waning Crescent Moon This is final phase. This is the last phase before the next new moon. And ultimately the moon completes the revolution around the earth. And again reaches to its phase 1, that is new moon. And that is why the moon changes shapes. You must remember that. After the new moon, the sunlit part of moon visible from the earth increases every day. On the other hand, after the full moon day the size of sunlit part of moon visible from the earth decreases every day. We have one new moon and one full moon in a month. The time taken from one full moon to next full moon is called moon based or lunar based calendar. This period is generally considered as a month. <laughs>